Hey guys, it's Crafty Mellow here. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on a rule that Simba Baby requested. It'll be better looking than this. Here. Yeah, it'll be better looking than this. And I won't be really talking in this video just because. Yeah, just because. So yeah, we'll get started. So you'll need two colors of clay. Uh, we're using white and brown. And then you'll need a blade, and you'll need something to texture texture the roll with. I'm not good at saying it, but yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first, you have to roll out the two colors, and we already rolled them out. Uh, so then you figure out which color you want on the outside and which color you want on the inside. We'll be doing brown on the outside, so you lay the white on top of the brown. And it, it, this is an optional step. If you want to, you can cut it off. I don't really do that. So, yeah. So, and if you have a piece sticking out, you can just roll it in. And then you can just start rolling. So, you can pat that in. And then, you start. Go like this. And make sure you, you push out the air bubbles first. Okay. So then you start, you keep rolling. And you can see that it's forming already. So pat it down a little bit, make sure it's still round. Keep rolling. So then, when you have it, you want to smooth this down, because then it's like this, but you'll cut off this piece. You want to pat it down, and then soon you'll cut it, so blend it in. Okay. Okay, um, so then... If you want to make it into like a cake roll or you just want to make like a regular roll, I'm just going to make this into a cake roll. You pat it down on the crease so then it has a flat bottom. Okay, so then it has a flat bottom. And then you can start cutting. We're just going to cut the middle first to show you. Just like. So. hope it turns out well and this is how it turns out and then you can keep cutting you can take off the back and that piece can just be gone or you can just flatten it down cuz the this part is always messed up so you can just squish it together and it'll turn out really nice. And same on the side. Cut it and flatten it down. And now we'll texture. So we're just taking some tin foil and we crumple it up into a ball. And we take the actual bread pieces, I mean the loaf, the cake loaf. And you just texture the top. And you can see it's starting to get texture. Well, not really, but... And you can see the resemblance from this. It has even more of a swirl. Because the more clay you use, the more of a swirl and yeah and then it'll be better you can actually make three like you can add three colors i did that i'll show you next time hopefully if i can and then here's another one we also made this texture um 
So yeah, and finish this. And you can also texture this uh, loaf piece, a piece of it right here, flatten it. Okay, yeah. And make sure it doesn't have a hole inside like this one. And then it looks like this. So thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, please, please, please comment. We would really appreciate it. This is what the roll looks like after it's done. So thanks for watching. Bye, guys.